Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Android Studio in 2024, of course, for beginners. So today we are going to learn how to create your login page on Android Studio. This tutorial, first of all, is perfect for beginners and will help you understand the basics of Android development. And so make sure to follow along as we build a simple yet effective login page. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first you will need to go and open uh, like your android studio if you don't have it just open whatever browser you have uh, simply once you open it go to the url section just type android as an example so sorry android studio hit the enter button as you can see you'll find yourself here click on this first link which is download android studio and app tools and etc and once you click on it, click on download Android Studio. Once it downloaded, you'll find something like that. Make sure to stop and you will be good to go. It will be downloaded. Just fill up or finish the downloading options and you'll be good to go. Of course, while in this tutorial, if you are a beginner, you would like to use or you would like uh, to seek the assistance of ChatGPT. So go open a new tab, go to chats.openai.com. Make sure to log in into an account if you have an account. And if you don't have one, just go and create a new one. So you can keep the chats if you want to come back to it whenever you want. And of course, uh, you can go use Google, I guess, and uh, Microsoft and Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So once you do so, you will find yourself, as we said here. And as an example, first of all, let me just go here and open Android Studio. So I'll just go and open that. As you can see, it's open. It's opening up. So I'll just wait. And as you can see here, I'll just go and start a new project. And so here you can start from whatever you want. For me, I'll just start from an empty activity. Then click on next. Of course, you'll have to give it a name. For me, I'll just name it a login like page as an example. And you can see here the save location where it's going to be saved and etc. Then click on finish. As you can see, so download in platform, etc. If anything like is there to download, I'll just wait for the projects until downloaded and to install any packages necessary, etc. So I'll just wait for it until it's downloaded and I'll be good to go. In the meanwhile, of course, uh, I'll just go here to ChatGPT. An example, I'll just type, I want to create a login page uh, using Android, uh, like Android, sorry. Uh, it seems like I, I don't even know how to type Android anymore. So, and like, yeah, like that's Android Studio. So studio and as an example, it is my first time. So help me out. I'll just type that to ChatGPT, and as you can see, it will get everything for me. Uh, I need even the code. Uh, I need you to help me with the code also. So as an example, let me just wait. Yeah. So here everything is finished. So I'll just go here and click on finish. And as you can see, it's preparing and it will open everything out for you. So that's going to be it. As you can see, generating sources, etc. If I go back here, so as you can see, it's created like even a code for me, like a Java code and even some layout design. Yeah, I'll just allow this to my PC and etc. Of course, as you can see, first of all, the steps. First of all, you'll have to set up your Android Studio. If it's already downloaded, if you didn't download, just don't now go and download it, create a new project, uh, make sure to go through everything, example, and you'll be able to design the layout, then handle the user input, then implement the login uh, uh, logic, then test your app, and you'll be able even to handle the user authentication after. after. So as you can see here, uh, yeah, so it's opened right now. As you can see, all good. So here, as you can see, you'll find the main activity. So if you go here, first of all, so you'll need to go and open the activity main file and direct setting. This is where you'll design the layout uh, of your login page. You can, of course, drag and drop UI elements from the, pa uh, the palette and etc. and etc. So if I go here, layout design, activity main. So I'll just go and copy that code and paste it here and the main activity. So I just copy it there. Now, if I go here as example, Java uh, code scripts like main activity dot Java. So this dot XML, what's about here? So it was dot KT. 
Of course, we can change that uh, after. Uh, what's about Java as example? So if we go here as an example to the login page and etc. So we'll find like this, uh, like main activity also there. Uh, what about if we go to main? And of course, basically here you'll be able to uh, do everything and make sure to go to like Java, as we said, main activity in here. As you can see, you'll have to put the code of your main activity uh, where you should put the layout design. And then you should enter the Java code and the main activity dot Java. And the code, as you can see, set up some basic login page with username, password field, and the login button. It check the fields are empty and uh, the entered, of course, credentials match a predefined username and password. So if the login is successful, it shows a toast message. Otherwise, it displays an error message. You can replace the demo credential with your authentication login or integrate it with a back-end service like Firebase authentication for real-world scenarios. So just close this here. Yeah. And of course, if you want to add, of course, any configurations, you'll be able to add them here and a lot of other stuff. Other than that, so as an example here, just like close every tab like in here to see out a lot of stuff and of course here you'll be able to see the app i guess etc so basically here if we go uh, to drawable here you'll be able to go and create like whatever background you want if you want to create some background of course first of all uh, you can set it like colors into it you can do a lot of other stuff on it uh, as you can see you'll be able to do it in here and other than that of course uh, like you'll be able just to change like uh, this to uh, the colors i guess zero 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 it's going to be white if i'm not mistaken or uh, or i guess black i'm not very sure so of course you can change the color to whatever you want as you can see you can even ch uh, change the stroke color and everything about us in here so as you can see make sure to change it and other than that you can go also create your layout as an example. Uh, you'll be able to create some linear layout and a lot of other stuff. And other than that, as an example here, uh, so yeah, here where I should have changed like the the things. So let me just go back here and Android manifests as an example. Wait, where I should like open the thingy. So let me just go and look where to find it as an example so of course the map values no i don't want that so let me just look it up and i'm coming back so i just go here and create like another project so i don't look now lose files or etc something like that so here in this code as an example i'll just go and click on splits and as you can see you will find here the design so i'll just go and click in here on where i have a hello android and as you can see when i just type on this hello android as an example this is going to be the code of our hello android as an example let me just go back to this code right here and so in here i'll just go and copy that code again and of course like this is i guess the old one so i just yeah want this new one i'll just try this example so no preview found okay i'll just go back as example in case i made some mistake in here so of course i need first of all to add this on the xml uh, like version like okay so i'll just uh, do like i uh, wanna uh, change the main activity dot kt file give me the code to insert like there as simple as that so an example here i'll just go and let's like that of course i'll let him finish and click on copy code and check in here i don't know if it will work or not so i'll just go and enter that so it seems like if with full of mistakes at the moment so okay i'll just go back in here click on Control z so we can go back and of course yeah so here as an example we go and remove this i guess like this should be removed I'll just type test in case just to check if it's working as intended so let me just wait again and here's an example on this hello i'll just uh, remove it and type like uh, hi instead or something like that and see like the preview so just go back so the preview will not update while your project contains some syntax errors seems like i have some errors in here in resolved references so okay we just go back here so okay maybe i had some errors in here yeah 
Okay, so it's all good now. Okay, so what about if we change this hello to hi as an example? Now there is no syntax errors uh, as it seems. Yeah, so as you can see, it changed in here. So to create as an example, like uh, a design. So here as an example, I'll just try first of all uh, to uh, as an example. Okay. So as we said, we are beginners, so we don't know nothing. So I don't know like how to do it. I need this example, a step by step explanation from beginning. Okay, not like that. So from beginning to end. We don't try to begin in like that, but it does not matter. So of course, as you can see, to design the layout, of course, so as we said before, you will need to go to activity uh, main.xml and create like a new file and simply you will be able to uh, do some uh, things in there. And there, as an example, uh, you will need to start creating where you'll be able to uh, enter your uh, things as an example. So here you'll be able to those things as an example and you'll need to insert those ones as an example. Let's see, I don't know if it will work. I'll just put it here in the bottom. Let's see, so there's a lot of errors in here. What about like if we remove this edit text and so here is an example i'll just go back as an example if we have any errors example you can simply just go and copy those uh, like uh, errors and send them back to chat gpt and follow the steps that is going to tell you and you will be good to go with it so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye